Hey guys, today is January the 7th of 2014. I want to go over the Euro and just give you my thoughts and my opinions. I know this is an educational video only, so please consult a professional financial advisor. All right, as you can see, the Asian market uh, was pretty positive, except the Nikkei. Euro was is very positive as of now. And the uh, U.S. session is pretty positive also. So it looks like it's going to be a positive day uh, for the U.S. In regards to the calendar, we have... Uh, the USD at 8.30 trade balance was 34.3 and uh, very positive on the euro 5 uh, five o'clock CPI was 0.8 so it's negative and uh, we have nothing else on calendar uh, for Forex in regards to uh, the day relative performance the U, uh, euro is at 0.2 so it's slowly climbing if you look at it in the week it's uh, 0.26 is leading in regards to a uh, relative performance and if we look at the monthly it's uh, slowly climbing up from 0.59 percent we look at our uh, GAN emblem we see that today we have a hit from the uh, November 7 pivot low uh, the big one was a six which we had four uh, the next date will be tomorrow which would be the eighth so it will be interesting to see how this uh, year is going to play out. If it gets a nice pop today uh, or tonight and uh, the AFIC it, it starts selling, maybe that could possibly be the, could possibly be the pivot high. Uh, but we'll see as uh, price action will tell us. Uh, but other than that, those are the only dates I have. Uh, two here, which is nothing major, but this is the big one. So tomorrow should be interesting with the euro. Uh, let's look at the charts. As of right now, uh, we put a swing low, swing high here. The 75% is at 36.51. It's having issues right there. Uh, so we'll see what the euro is going to do. Uh, and if you take uh, the swing high from the 38.92 all the way to here, 32.95, you have the 50% uh, which is at 35.94 so it's holding that up so we'll see uh, what the euro is going to do other than that nothing's really changed um, it was an inside day until it you know well not an inside day it's yeah it's actually an inside day it hasn't really taken out the high of uh, yesterday's candle if we look at our gang uh, swing bar um, it's still pointing to the downside so I am still watching. Um, don't want to be caught, you know, long uh, when this thing wants to, you know, trend lower. So right now, it's uh, it's just uh, swing to the downside now. Even though it's probably going to be a lot of noise until this thing starts pushing higher, then we know that you know this is going to change. Other than that, that's it on this chart. I don't have really nothing to show you. Let's look at the uh, the chart. As you can see, the euro uh, it's starting to you know get a little weak. This is the uh, one by one, and this is where we're having issues. I remember telling you guys that it needs to close above here and and push higher and get away from this one by one. If it doesn't, it's gonna have a tough time. Here is it a, a, a pivot, Woody's pivot monthly, uh, 35.75, and you got the uh, weekly PP, uh, which is so roughly 36.46, and you got resistance up here and resistance up here at uh, 37, 37. Uh, but we'll see. But it needs to close above this angle, and this angle is somewhere between 26 and 28. It's having issues right there, that 36.55. If you're into astro trading and all that stuff, uh, Saturn is somewhere around there uh, in regards to uh, degrees and, and, and whatnot uh, using uh, other uh, measuring techniques. So Saturn is pretty much keeping the euro in check uh, today. I uh, kept it yesterday, and it's keeping it today. And uh, we'll see, you know, what's going to happen. But it's above the 50, so it's good. And it needs to stay above that one-by-one one angle. Can't stress it enough. That's, that's an important angle right there. And uh, looks like it's having a tough time. Let's look at our... Uh,
let's glance this chart. Let's close this for real estate. It's going to be a short video because not, not, not much action is going on. Let's see, same thing. It's just above the 50. It's just it's just big sellers here just pushing it down. It wants to go higher, and big sellers are just pushing it down. Um, let's just look at the big picture. If you're new to my videos, big picture consists of a monthly, weekly, daily, and the 12 hour and I have some indicators that I use um, monthly the trend is still up weekly the trend is still up it's having issues up here so it's it's having a tough time and uh, over here it's you know it's having a tough time also uh, team is still positive this see, the thing is this is a cycle that looks like it wants to go down and uh, 50 just got out of zoom mode, so that's not good. But this right here indicates that it could be a possible snapback. So we're kind of like in the gray area. And then the angle I showed you before, it's just stuck in the middle. It's undecided. Are we going to stay above here, push higher, or we're going to crack and sell? Uh, and that's what's reflecting, you know, what's going on here. But the trend is still high. On the daily, it's still above the Kumo cloud, so it's still positive. Uh, but showing some signs of weakness. Team is negative uh, from the 12 hour. Uh, this is negative, Momo. This is kind of just now not trending sideways. And then another thing that concerns me is the squeeze play. Price has been contained since the 31st all the way to now. And it looks like the pressure of the explosion is to the downside. But this could change, you know, like in a second. But as of right now, the pressure is to the downside. In order for this to change, we need to get like a yellow bar here, over here, and that and that's gonna sh that's gonna tell me that the explosion uh, that was gonna be to the downside now has changed and wants to now go higher. Uh, but we haven't even had a positive bar here on the TTM short term frame, uh, so that's telling me that you know. We're just coming back and forth, just going back and forth. The good thing about the euro is that it's above the 50. Uh, you know, we got to see where this candle is going to close. And if it close above the 50 and above the one by one angle, then that's telling me that things are looking a little more positive to the upside. Uh, but the daily, you know, there's a cycle down, Fisher. This is negative, negative. Uh, the 12 hour needs to start getting positive in order for me to like think of you know but you know tomorrow's coming and that's uh, uh, vibration day so we should see what the euro is going to do um, but as you can see right here it's just having issues uh, the MACD is like trying to push higher and this spread is pretty huge because the 50 is still in zoom mode so this thing could like pull you know pull right down uh, the 12 the, right, the Fisher right here all the indicators that are showing that it wants to push higher but you can see that it's having a tough time this is the 50 percent level right here it's having a tough time there um, and this hasn't even changed uh, yellow yet so there's a lot of stuff that's still kind of negative and then there's a few that is positive like that's positive that's positive positive negative 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 so it's like it's like even so I'm just on the sidelines just watching for now Hope uh, you enjoyed this video and uh, post my thoughts tomorrow and see what the Euro is going to do. But it should be a fun and exciting day. Take care. Peace.